these two invests are going to merge. Now, I don't mean that in the sense that they're going to merge together and create some monstrosity of a hurricane out there. I really mean that we've got two areas that could develop being close in proximity to each other. And eventually, the stronger, the more dominant one is going to be taken over, which is a tropical wave given a medium chance to develop. Now, we're going to be taking a look at these systems. And if you saw this morning's update, particularly the pinned comment, I've been having some connectivity issues all day and I really hope that's resolved soon but unfortunately this evening that is not the case so I will be uh, keeping this video as short and to the point as I can so that I can get this information out to you guys in a timely manner I mean you wouldn't be seeing this by the time it's posted but I hope that you guys are doing wonderful and if you haven't already please do subscribe and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update All right, so let us go ahead and get straight into it. This video is going to be focused on these two disturbances. Of, uh, tomorrow, I hope to get a chance to go into more details with regards to other systems out there. But in terms of Lee, of course, that could still be a problem for parts of the northeastern U.S. and also for Atlantic Canada, for areas such as Newfoundland. So uh, eventually, if it is going to be a threat indeed, the National Hurricane Center will issue watches and warnings at least two days before such impacts. But if you're in those areas, you really want to keep watch because it could it, it is likely to bring some impacts either in terms of that dangerous surf which some areas are already experiencing or strong winds heavy rainfall but it is going to be a lot weaker than it currently is so it is sustaining winds at uh cat 3 intensity right now might try to strengthen a bit more but it has been struggling out there i'm not expecting a whole lot more to become a flea as for margo out there margo is now a hurricane a cat one just as expected and so that is not going to be a problem for anyone so let's go ahead and get straight into our two systems. So here we are taking a look at the National Hurricane Center's graphical tropical weather outlook. And there we can see our two invests being highlighted. So most recently, we've got Invest 98L. That is the tropical wave that is given that medium chance to develop as of the 2 p.m. update. So it's likely that we will see some development of it and it will eventually become Nigel. That's the next name to be used for this hurricane season. So more than likely, this is Bruin Nigel we're looking at here but as for invest 97l a much lower chance 10 percent chance of seeing something become of it so we can see on satellite here that they're producing some disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity and we're seeing that arrow for 98l simply because imminent formation is not expected and for that reason there is a zero percent chance that we could see something develop in the next two days so imminent formation is not likely but as we head to the end of this week we could definitely see it materialize consolidate and eventually become nigel with whatever is left of 97l as i said they're going to be merging with each other but we'll just have one system out there now environmental conditions ahead are likely to be conducive to allow for further strengthening and eventually we might have a hurricane out there might I, I mean models have been expecting it but in terms of a major hurricane and if it is going to be bringing impacts anywhere it is still too early to tell because this system is just so far out so let's go ahead and look at some model data and we're starting out with the uh, ensemble tracks coming from the euro and so as we head to the next five days this is as we head to the end of this week saturday the 16th of the month here we can see that they're definitely picking up on that system and most of the want to continue it up to the northwest taking it out to sea not being a problem for anyone but then let's head further out here let's go to 180 hours out and this is as we head into next Tuesday. So we can see here that the model is showing that the system will be staying out in the Atlantic, but it could be a problem for some areas in the West, parts of North America, potentially Bermuda, who knows, even the Caribbean could be at risk. As I said, it is too early to tell, but bottom line, models are expecting that it will develop as we head into the latter part of this week and could further intensify as we head into next week, possibly becoming a hurricane, maybe even a major hurricane. Some models are showing a Lee-like scenario with this in terms of it doing something a bit similar to Lee not the exact thing but something similar with it missing the Caribbean and then making a turn potentially impacting the US who knows so that is one of the many possibilities on the table I want to get it out there to you guys there cannot be a solid forecast at this point in time it is just too far out to tell but it is likely that we will see development it is a matter of where this thing is gonna go and how strong it's gonna get so I will keep watching it throughout the 
the week. I just wanted to bring you guys the latest on these systems, the fact that we're going to see them merge in, and eventually we will see something form an out there as it takes advantage of the conducive environment. And so that is pretty much it for this very short update, but I hope you found it to be informative regardless. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.